Hey, what up friends? What's up friends? It's Katrina here from the Hella Young coming at you with another video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and welcome to the family. Today we're going to be talking about how to break into the creative field. This is something that I get asked all the time, especially since I pivoted my career from sociology to business to full-time content creator. And a lot of people ask me like how I did it and how I was able to break in with absolutely no experience at all, hence this video. So if you want to break into the creative industry or want to be a full-time content creator or work in social media keep on watching this video and I will teach you how I did that so I'm gonna start off with my story currently I am a full-time content creator and everyone defines full-time content creator differently and it looks different for everyone for me it looks like three jobs and don't get scared okay like I said this is what it looks like for me it could look completely different for you so I have a corporate full-time nine-to-five job and I am a social media manager and I kind of do some content design and um, some like fun little creative projects on the side and second I do have a part-time job um, which is about like an extra 10 hours a week something I do kind of on the side and I used to do a lot of content design for them but now it has kind of evolved into doing more influencer PR partnerships kind of thing and then my third job is actually what I do for me for my own personal thing um, and that is working on my blog, my YouTube channel, my own social media, and sometimes I do freelance for other creatives. And I'll edit a video for them, design some graphics. It's just pretty much my own personal projects, including my own personal brand. So I literally do content and social media all day, every day as my full-time job. I just have three different streams of income. And it sounds like a lot, but it's totally manageable. And honestly, that's kind of the typical life of a content creator, like they're not just relying on YouTube ads or one stream of income, there's usually multiple streams of income. So if that fact hasn't turned you away from being a full-time content creator, then we're off to a good start. First thing that I learned when breaking into the creative industry is to start with your own personal brand. I did not have a portfolio at all, at least until my second year post-grad. And honestly, when I started looking at social media jobs and stuff, the portfolio that I was sending in was a link to my blog and like this really shitty website that I made on Wix or something. Like literally, I, I had nothing. Start off with your own social medias, have a personal website going. Um, and even if it's bare bones, like if you have any sort of design experience, any sort of social media experience, put that on there. Every little bit counts, especially when you're starting out because you wanna show that you know something. And if you do have a blog or website or social media, you wanna show that you are competent and you wanna show that you know or kinda know or have some skill in the creative job that you're going for. And fun fact, the reason why I got selected for the internship at Sutro was because I had a blog. It showed that I had an eye for design, I knew how to write copy, um, and that I knew how to run my own platform. And also at the time, my Instagram aesthetic was all over the place. Like I wasn't, I didn't have a theme or anything like that. Like. It was just, it was just my personal Instagram account. Like, I, I had nothing. And don't even get me started on my YouTube channel. I think I put that shit in there too, like, that I did YouTube. And, like, my videos aren't the most professional or the most well done, but they're a lot better than what the normal person who doesn't know how to edit videos can do, you know? So it just demonstrated my skills. So even though I didn't have a strong YouTube channel or blog or a huge following or anything, it showed that I had some skills in creating content and running my own design workflow kind of thing. So the next tip I have is to do things for free in exchange for experience and to build your portfolio. So a lot of people think that even if you're starting out in this industry, you need to charge for your work and stuff. But honestly, the thing that will land you paying clients or even employers is trust and they have to see the work that you've done so if you're just starting off and you don't really have a lot in your portfolio that should be the number one thing you should build is your portfolio and to gain experience and a lot of people won't like working for free but that is something I had to do for one and a half years I did my YouTube channel for free I did my blog for free I had my internship at Sutro for free and I forgot to mention this earlier but I was a contributor to this blog site called The Bold and even though it was $20 an article, there's no guarantee that your article is going to get published. So I kind of did that for free too. But in exchange for all that, even though I didn't make any money off of a lot of my projects, I have one and a half years worth of experience and I have a really hefty portfolio now. So 
my next tip into breaking into a creative career is to hang out in creative communities and to network. I joined this Facebook group called San Jose Creatives and that honestly was the catal catalyst, is that the right word? And that honestly was the thing that made all the difference in this creative journey that I was on. Because prior to joining that group, I thought I was alone. I thought I had no one to talk to, no one to ask for advice that lived in San Jose. I just felt really alone. But when I had this group, I was able to connect with a lot of bloggers and just get their advice, actually meet with them in person, do some co-working, and even share tips about like, where's the best place to take Instagram photos or what are some cool events that are happening in San Jose that we can all go together and blog about. It was really nice to have a creative community where I felt supported and I felt seen and heard and that I was a part of. So if you're watching this and you're in a small city or state that doesn't have a lot of bloggers, search for groups on Facebook. Even though like you may not have any local groups, maybe you can start one or even like Facebook groups is like the place to be, to find communities. There are so many. I joined probably like four or five other groups. Just do a quick search join them, um, hang out in a couple and like decide which ones are your favorite and stuff and like really just build up your community and network and get to know people and make some friends. And also another really important note on networking is that it is super important because in this industry or in any industry really like your skills and your talent will get you so far but like really it does come down to the people that you know. Um, like it may not be completely dependent on your network and who you're connected with um, but it certainly does help because the person who referred me to the job I have now, I knew him from Sutro, from working with him. He was an influencer and I was help planning our collab and like he knew my work, he knew I was a cool person to work with, so he referred me. So you never really know who in your network will be able to help you out. So the last tip I have for you today for breaking into a creative career is to be proud of your work and to not be afraid to share it with others. This is something that I really struggled with when getting started because I was just so shy, so ashamed, really scared of criticism and judgment and hate that I wouldn't put my work out there. So every time I did a blog post or a video, like I will post it sometimes on Facebook or Instagram, but it wasn't consistent. I wasn't very aggressive about it and like really putting myself out there and I feel like that's what really held me back the most. And honestly, your first fans and the foundation of your following will be your friends and family because they're the people you know. You probably know more than 100 people. So if you shared your work with that 100 people and you asked them to share it or give it a like or comment, like that is 100 pieces of engagement. And if they share it, they're sharing it with maybe even 100 more people. And even though it doesn't seem that way, it really kind of is. And I have had some friends that I did not expect at all tell me that they shared their video with their friends. Um, or like even my mom, I found out she was sharing it with her coworkers at work and I had no idea about that and they showed their kids and showed like their family members. So like, yeah, sharing your work and being proud of what you're creating is a huge, huge part of it. You have a beautiful and unique gift to share with the world. So please do share it. Grace our presence with your greatness. Your work matters and it does make an impact. And whether you believe it or not, you are making this world a better place by sharing your gift. All right, friends. And so those are my five tips on how to break into a creative career. I feel like in this video we really only brushed the surface of it. I feel like I can talk about this for days on end but for the sake of time I don't want to keep you here for too long so if you do want to have a part two or even make this into a series or want to learn some more please leave a comment down below or shoot me a message. I will gladly take your feedback and answer all of your questions. So with that thank you all so much for watching. Good luck on pursuing your creative career career. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, hit a girl up um, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!